In ProAV, connecting video display products to sources is fairly straightforward. On occasion, there are still a few hiccups that can frustrate even the most skilled techs. So today we'll take a look at EDID and how this can help you overcome the most difficult interconnectivity challenges. And as a reminder, if you like these short videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. EDID, or Extended Display Identification Data, is a listing of all the display's capabilities. This listing includes vendor and product ID, serial number, manufacturer date, the size of the display, resolution and the frequency supported, and detailed signal timings for native resolutions. Those of us old-timers might remember how difficult it was to get a projector configured to recognize the signal from a PC or Mac. That was because depending on how you had the computer display output configured, you'd have to manually match those settings to get the correct image on the projector. Today, most of this seems to be automatic, and it is thanks to EDID. Recently, I had a customer call troubled by the fact that they couldn't get a specific resolution to display properly on a projector. It was a rather unique resolution coming from a custom engineering software on their PC. The result was an out-of-range error. The quandary here is that the source resolution didn't match any resolution available in the projector's lookup table. In other words, it's not one of the common computer or video resolutions and aspect ratios that the projector knew. In another case, a customer was utilizing a switcher to select sources for a video wall. Unfortunately, every time they switched from one source to another, the screen would go all blue for a few moments while the E did sync the source PC to the video wall. The frustration here is that unless all the source PCs were manually set to the same output resolution, the display would keep trying to readjust every time they switched between them. So what can we do about this? Well, short of rewriting firmware in your display device, the only thing you can do to correct this issue is to employ an EDID manager. What this does is it allows you to either read the EDID setting from the display or projector and lock that into memory, or select a specific display resolution that works best with your source devices and lock that into the manager. Now this is really helpful when working with non-standard resolutions and it's ideal when switching between multiple sources with different native resolutions. In the case of using a switcher, the multiple switch sources will constantly be reading the resolution that's locked into the EDID manager. In the case of using a switcher, the multiple switch sources will constantly be reading the resolution that's locked into the EDID manager matching the display's best or native resolution. By maintaining that one resolution that's common across many source devices, there's no sync delay and the appearance of a seamless switching can occur. So for the cost of around $100, you can add an EDID manager into every one of these projects and be assured that you'll never burn a bunch of time trying to figure out any of these kinds of displays and projection problems. And as always, please like and subscribe to our channel if you found this short video helpful.